it's uh, finally stopped raining for a little bit. Yesterday we spent the day, well, a bit of a mixed day really, we had a load of hay deliveries. Uh, just gonna get Linda loaded up, she's always here nice and early, likes to get a good start on things. But we, uh, we cleared the next part of the uh, concrete pad off, and the concrete will be here at 11 o'clock. So that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. Let's get some out here for her. This grab when it works like this, look at that three packs. Get them down quickly. She will choose. <laughs> there we go. Some of our customers prefer types of hay, you know, some prefer the coarser stuff. Some prefer the, uh, let's drop that straw down there, look. And then some prefer the finer stuff. Had a bit of a mare this morning. <laughs> we don't know who did it, but some, one of us left the blooming gate open. And now cows with calves, cows that have got calves are in this side they're basically they're mixed up so we've got to go through the numbers and uh, check who's meant to be where so it's gonna be a bit of painful for an hour or two but we'll get them sorted out these things happen uh, they might have even just blimmin knocked the gate themselves and knocked it open but don't know uh, it's not a hard gate to get open but uh, doesn't matter she should be over there and I know there's a few in there that should be over here so we got some messing about to do so basically I'm just gonna go through their numbers check where they're meant to be and uh and go from there concrete coming in half hour Yeah, I think so. Are you alright? Yeah. What's with the buckets at? Take samples. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, do the slump and just make sure there's enough air in it. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. You'll get told off. You know it. Yeah, good. Yeah. 
where we're charging, just to the road and up there. Keep right on the edge, mate. Yeah. Fire up once again and come back, yeah? Okay. Right. Yeah. I would have thought so. And that slopes that way now, doesn't it? Yeah, Everything slopes. Going to this way from there. <coughs> so you have to sort of think this would be a little bit wider, but I was thinking the cogs all the yard now, what, what we do from then on, it'll follow. Yeah. Has he done it right? He's going to have a touch. If you're going to have a touch. Gee, you want that? No. You can put it in your pocket. Oh, well, you've got to take it in, yeah. Oh, so he is. He's got to do the second load, he said. How can I've only got you out of that, yeah? Oh, it's got the cast in there. Right. Put a bit over there. Yeah. So... What does the slump tell you? Anything or nothing? It tells you it was coming out right. Well, I do. Uh, right. What happens if it's wrong then? Yeah. yeah. And do you have to adjust back at the back at base? Anything? Yeah, mixture? Yeah, we'll have to tell them that it's sometimes they just bring it out a little bit wet. And then they get a disciplinary for it. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. really bad. But if it's just a little bit out. Who decides how wet it is? These guys. But it gets mixed in and it shows on the gauge and they should know roughly where it is on the gauge but sometimes they can add a little bit of water themselves yeah. uh, not far away is it about the same isn't it oh, yeah perfect thing We had a bit of a, a bit of a disaster this morning actually. We uh well, you, you, the last clip you'd have seen me we were in the pen with one of the gates had got left open, cows had started walking through, ones that haven't calved yet, 
uh, and some of the cows that have calved we're walking through this way we had a bit of a mix up on our hands we came into um, what happens is when they start mixing again they got to sort out the order of who's in charge so they start fighting and scrapping yeah calf had got in the way and well it's bad news they killed a calf um, while they were fighting anyway one of the things you can do if you do get a dead calf is um, we've uh, we bought a new calf from uh, from somebody up the road. What we've done is actually skinned the old calf, put the skin on the new calf, and hopefully, what we're hoping to do is. Uh, doesn't always work, but. Um, Oh, this one now, what's up with that? Head. Yeah, anyway. The aim of the game is to get her to take on to this calf and mother this calf. Using the smell of her old calf. She will. It takes a bit of work. It doesn't happen the first second, does it? And uh, obviously he doesn't think she's his mum, so you you got to make uh, you got to make it happen, don't you, Tom? We'll get there, boy. But it seemed like a too good opportunity to miss because she had a lot of milk and she was a good mum. And uh, it was a bit of a shame, actually. She's effer as well, so that was a bit of a shame. So a bit of messing about, and hopefully. Hopefully she'll uh, she'll take to him, but we'll catch up on that another day. I want to show you the concrete. You're right in there, farmer. Yeah. Farmer's gonna have a load of fun. <laughs> but she's not. Um, what you know, the worst comes to worst, she'll start attacking the other calf. She's not doing that yet. This one, this is one of the new calves. She just uh, a bit unsteady on her feet, so we're just keeping her topped up. She's a little bit thin, so. Um, we're just keeping her topped up. We had the vet come the other day and she was testing for different things in some of the um, feces of some of the animals that were, their, their, poo in, their poo was a bit loose. And one of the tests come back and it showed that uh, there might be a bit of fluke. I'll put it in the edit what fluke it was. It's a different type of fluke, one that we haven't um, treated for. So we might have to treat everything for that type of fluke. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but we sorted out this morning, me and farmer, we sorted out everything with calves went that way. What's that? Is he away? Yeah, he's away. He's bad, he stops at kicking me. Yeah. He just pinches up under him, pinches on her back, and uh, I'll just stop and kick him. If I've got to do this night and morning, where's she going in here? The bigger out she get worse to get in. Yeah. Okay, you, know, you will get her in. Once she's had a drink, he's away. That's what she'll do. She'll stand with her legs full. She's an awful scrub. But he's a good cat, so you, once he's had a drink, he'll be. Uh, you know that, my dear. Yeah. He's big enough. Yeah. You've got to be careful with that in this weather. You yes. won't get him too hot. Yeah. But that'll want to be off tomorrow morning. If you're right tonight, yeah. it'll cool down tonight. But tomorrow, mate, I won't leave that on. No. I'll have that straight up. And I'll tell you the truth, you've got to keep your eye on it, man, because with a bit of stress and moving, yeah. and that jacket, so that will give him a bit of pneumonia, a bit, a bit smarter. Is there a special way to skin? A calf? Where yeah, do you learn that? Yeah, right. Great difficulty. Where, where do you learn that? Watching other people. Yeah, just something you learned growing up. Yeah. Yeah. How many times will it work out of ten? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Oh, right, so it's pretty successful. But you ain't got to leave that on too long. No. You know, we'll stink. Tomorrow that'll start stinking. Oh, right. 
And she ain't, uh, she ain't actually as keen on him as I thought she would be. No. I thought being at her, she'd be a bit daft. But she don't like being in here. But she hadn't realised yet. She's got about five weeks of it probably. Right. I've had them, mate. I'm not going to. I've had them. In, I've had them in that pen, not in here particularly, but in that pen. I've had them for bloody five or six weeks, and real, real arsehole, real, real asshole to, to do. And um, <laughs> you think, well, this will never work. Buggy you, I'll throw you out. You know, you're getting towards the end of the season. Throw the car out because you'll go and pinch some. Hopefully, he pinches some from somewhere. Let her out. Oh yeah, I'll chase him round and mother him now. Then they were out in the open. Yeah. And I've had that before, after six or seven weeks. Yeah. And she's not, and you've literally been in every day for six weeks, making him drink, never pinch any. Then you let him out, and it's like, okay, I'll go, and I'll let our mother know and let him drink. Yeah. She'll be alright, mate. He won't be the issue, will he? Uh, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. She'll be alright, mate. She'll settle down. Even hunting doesn't help. But... No, that's... <laughs> He started getting his own smell, I mean, she's with him all the time, she's going nowhere else. Well, once she settles down and realises she's going nowhere else, because that's the issue at the minute, she thinks she's off somewhere else. But, you know, she, she'll be good as gold, mate. Yeah, he's a good calf, I mean, what is he, steer rifle? Maybe a steer rifle, I think. Yeah, got a set of nabs on him. Yeah. Got a ring on yeah, it. That works for us, doesn't it? Yeah. And he's uh, Angus? Yeah. Bloody, uh, that day was a bloody godsend. It, it really is a godsend. That you didn't day. have that before, did you? What, what did you have before? You had a crappy old bar, just a bar tied up that I used to use, and it was a, wow, most difficult. It was quite tied nice up there. with two bits of string and, a, and that bit of rope on the, well, a bit of rope on the end. Yeah. But he'll have a drink, mate. I'll go to do now, he'll be as good as gold till the morning. Yeah. And she's not beating him up, see, she's not chasing him around and hounding him around. No. That's worst case if she starts attacking well, I, him. You know, I've had him, mate, where I've had to have a gate across the corner to put the calf in, you know, out the cow's way. But you don't want to take him away, particularly. No. Um, yeah, she be as good as gold, mate. As you can see, we're in t shirts again, so what happens in the shed is it. it yeah, it's the change from very cold, which we had early on in the week, Monday, into very warm. And then what that brings on is, uh, well, uh, we've seen it this morning. We've just jabbed one calf this morning. Just a, it's always the change, you know, from cold to warm. It just uh, it brings on pneumonia in the calves. Uh, not so much. We've uh, we have cleaned out all these sheds on the back one as well. But we're going to clean the back one out as well because I think it's going to stay warmish. And uh, where you've got muck underneath them, the muck gets warm and they're, you know, they're warm from underneath, if you know what I mean. Then they start sweating. Then you get um, a cold night with wet backs, leads to pneumonia. This is the, uh, this is the concrete we laid yesterday. <clears throat> it was getting late by the time we had trailed it and everything and uh, it was getting dark. It's not been too bad. We keep getting these little showers that come through. We've just been up to, uh, We've just had a look at the oats over at Jim's. All the fields are green, so that's a good thing. Got to stay off this middle bit for three weeks to let the concrete cure and harden. And then after that three week period, we had to use this. We're, uh, we're gonna then, I think farmer's talking about starting on this bit. Once cows are out, we'll, uh, we'll start on this bit through here. And um, yeah, and then who knows, in the future we'll maybe I don't know. We got a lot. We got a lot to do if we want to do it. All. Daisy brought the uh, telehandler back this morning. She was, she was back. She uh, she said thank you very much. So uh, she was quite happy. I think she got her telehandler sorted out. So that was quite nice. These guys have got some hay to go at. Oh yeah, we did some dehorning at the start of the week. That's what you'd have seen first. We did some dehorning. Everything's fine. Only, um, yeah, it's only about half that actually needed doing. This is my mate. This is him. He's the oldest one in here. He's such a... <laughs> I've got to get in and show you because he's just an absolute unit. Just cracks you up. He's just, um, he didn't have any horns actually. 
so he did not get done so he will probably stay friendly he's a right little bruiser any boy he's like um i don't know he's just built a bit differently any boy is that mum over there she's going to kick off there's mum look she'll be all right she knows us don't she every morning when you're putting the straw in he's obviously got to come over and give you a hand thinks he's going to do it all you always get one every year every year you get a real friendly one he's an absolute unit of a thing real long real good back end on him you wouldn't hold on to him that's for sure hey boy you don't mind a scratch do you farmer's going to come in here next week we're going to have all this out we're going to have the muck out i think it's going to stay warm for next week warm and showers you know uh, so we'll have all this out line on the back is uh, just to indicate that he's got no horns but christ he is hell of a thing he is the oldest though i think farmer said 35 um 35 tops so that's all that's left to carve there's two in there pretty close at the moment the uh we got our grab back actually from cherries the uh muck fork uh we got that back uh <laughs> The old man had a nightmare. He was trying to pick a bale up next to one and there was um, one of the buckets for the diggers sat behind it. He went to grab it and broke the broke the tine off. It's all right, we, uh, we said we'd dock it from his wages. We've been busy this week, really busy. Hay's been non-stop because of the showers, you know, everyone's got horses in. So uh, whenever, whenever the weather is like this, we're always busy on the hay. Linda's had a few full days of hay but uh, that soon slows down as we get towards uh, spring and people start putting their animals out she's a nice cow <laughs> she's one of the friendly ones they've all come for hey hey yeah this was young andrew's favorite we were hoping she would have a calf this year and she did one of the first ones to have one as well, so that was good. There you go. Once it dries up a bit, we'll be uh, putting the harrows and the rolls on. We'll be going to do that. We'll go around as soon as the crops are up and out the ground. We'll go and have a look and see what's uh, what's going on there. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it looks um, pretty promising actually. We were um, yeah pleasantly surprised. You know, there's been a few uh, cold showers about and a few frosts, but it seems to be okay. Mate, are you serious? That is, their tongues are like cat's tongues, if you want to know what their tongues are like. If they lick you too many times, it makes it sore. Right, I'm going to leave you to it, mate. So he's got two tags in now. They've all got two tags in, they had their uh, jab for black leg. Keithy got his edge trimmer off, he was trying to get that off uh, all week last week. Managed to get it off at the end there, so he's uh, he got that all sorted, he was having some troubles with yeah. turning the flails over so but he got there in the end he got it all sorted that's uh, put away for the uh winter now that comes back out in september october september i think so the hedge trimmers are off so we've got a couple of spare tractors about now and uh yeah we had a we went through um uh the 7718 we went through that and and got a few things done up on that had an air leak and a few little odd jobs to do on it so we've been doing some messing about with tractors this is the hay barn it has four full rows left in there so getting through it now there's one in here i think it's 14 he's from cow 14 stabilizer he literally just wanders out here that's why we have to put this up because he, he's the only one that does it but he um yeah he'll, he'll just come through wander around the yard and then when he feels like it he'll go back in what pain in the butt i meant to show you the stores last time can't wait to drive on this gonna be well nice we usually we will usually feed up this end but that'll be uh next year now Let's see if we can find my mate in here he's usually lurking about he had a bad eye actually. These are the stores. They look a bit anyhow because there's stabilizers in there as well and they're small animal. 
but um, I don't think they look that bad. Got some nice silage to go at. Pretty good. There's my mate. There's a friendly one in here. It's 2016 is the tag number is. They think they're getting barley, look. Made a mistake there. There he is. Hey, boy. There he is. He is always about this, look. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He had a bad eye. Me and Farmer, we literally just got him in there with a couple of gates. And he, um, he pretty much just let us do it. And it cleared it right up. Isn't it, boy? He's just... Um, He's just like that other calf. You just get one or two that are just really, really friendly. You know, he's a good animal as well. They're not all like that. You try and touch one of these ones, but they'll freak out. He don't mind. Oof. That there is about to burst. That is an abscess. What she'll do is she'll rub that on something. And that will go and uh, it will settle down then, it will disappear, but that is, we might even have to, uh, if she's coming through the crush, we might even have to help her with that, because that will be a saw. I've seen it before. It will usually just burst on its own. But if it doesn't, we will, uh, when she's in the crush next, we'll We'll get rid of that. It'd be a smelly, nasty job, but we'll sort that out. It's uh, look how wet it's been. Every time it starts drying up, it just dumps a lo another load on us. It's not like devastating wet. It's just annoying wet. You know, makes everything look ru rubbish. They're all right in there. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. I'll start a new video next week, and uh, yeah, we'll see what comes. But, uh, the carving this year has been different. A lot different. You know, more normal, like as a normal year, where it should be, really. That's a twin. It's one of the twins. Number one and number ten are the twins. And then three, five, six is the other one. She's over there, look. She got herself into the other pen yesterday. <laughs> as soon as she come back in, the twins were on a... Number 12. I've got a feeling you're not meant to be in there. I don't think she's meant to be in there. Nope. She's not meant to be in there. That's one we've missed. I get some red paint. We'll put her back through tomorrow. Won't do it now. She'll go back into the other side. Some some from that side came this side, and then some from this side came that side. Uh, but it was critical that we got all the, the they were easy to tell because they stood there hollering at the gates for their calves but the ones that slipped through this side they're a bit harder to tell but first thing i noticed was no bag on the cow she'll go back through tomorrow